at 8.30. And we are uh, privileged to have Wilma Muller with us, the Executive Director of Tuscarawas Arts Partnership. How are you, dare I ask? Oh, I'm tired, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be super busy, so that's, yeah. that's for sure. Well, I appreciate you uh, taking time to be here today. So that's uh, really uh, a good time, and we knew that ahead of time because... Mm-hmm. Um, of what's coming up, but also of what just happened last night. Part of the reason why you've uh, been running around in circles because <laughs> last night was the fifth annual Arts Signing Day. Did you get that right? Yes, yes, you got that right. <laughs> and what did that entail? Where was it and who got the award? Yeah, so the annual Arts Signing Day is an event where we celebrate and recognize our uh, high school seniors in Tuscarawas County that are dedicating their education and career pursuits in an arts, cultural, or creative-based field. Uh, this has taken the concept of the athletic signing day, mm-hmm. but we are um, transitioning it to re- to reflect our um, high school seniors who want to become artists or band directors or theater technicians and even in communications and nonprofit work and stuff um, because we realize that, and I mean, it's definitely no uh, question that the arts are in different areas of our lives. It crosses different industries. So we thought, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you raise right your hand here. over there. Uh, <laughs> we thought, why not? We need to have the, well, why don't we try to have this event? And that started like five years ago. And I know David Mitchell um, with the Performing Arts Center uh, was one of the originators for the idea. And we just kept it going over these years. And it's been really great. Um, and actually, after last night, we have recognized 57 high school seniors in the last five years. Very so, good. Yeah. Yeah, and great. with David Mitchell, that's a pretty good place to have that. Yeah, yeah. We had it at the pack last night. So it was, which is great because the last couple of years, we've actually, because of COVID restrictions, uh, we held the event outside um, over by the Ezekiel Project uh, at the murals over there, which is, I mean, which is a beautiful outdoor mm-hmm. setting over there, um, obviously. But it was great to be able to have the event indoors again. Uh, so it feels like sort of that. Um, special event yeah. for our high school seniors and it was a little cool last night so it was a little cool so we were definitely <laughs> we're oh man that's this weather let me tell you um but yeah it was definitely great um but we had eight seniors that we recognized across uh Tuscarawas county uh two of them from buckeye career center being emily rose and olivia swigert uh, we had two from Dover High School, Kylie Eckstein and Alexandra Thompson, one from Indian Valley, Rachel Gardner, one from uh, actually two from New Philadelphia, Anya Donnelly and Hannah Levengood, and one from uh, Tuskegee Valley, um, Lazarus uh, Sheets Smith. So it was wonderful being able to give them that evening to be recognized and to be able to celebrate them and their future endeavors in the arts. Yeah, and uh, give them that moment, like you said, kind of like a signing day for for athletes. Then there was the uh, 2022 Arts Educator of the Year Award. And Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the more people that vote, you have to feel like that's more prestigious as it goes, right? Yeah, yeah. So actually what's really great is I think this was one of our higher nomination years. Um, We had seven uh, different educators across Tuscarawas County that were nominated. uh, 76 entries in total. So we did. We do open it up to the public, um, so that anyone really could nominate an arts educator that um, they feel that deserves the award. So it's from peers, colleagues, even students that have nominated their educators. Um, it was definitely a hard decision. I wish that okay. you know, like our and even I said this last night. Um, our educators do so much in the community uh, with the students and and especially like our arts educators, whether it's music, uh, theater. Uh, visual arts, dance, or anything like they really pour a lot of themselves into their students because they see the potential and want to be able to challenge them and uplift them in a creative environment and be able to cultivate that in those students so that they can go on and uh, with whatever direction that they want to go and be able to pour that into other people and community members. So we really have our educators to thank for that. Um, and, and but it's, yeah. it's gratifying to see someone that you're helping succeed Mm -hmm. so that's got to be part of the drive so who finally came out of that big pack yeah well i will say that the at least the people that were nominated uh so we had aubrey gelsha from buckeye career center and then we had four from uh dover city schools it was samantha hancrat uh chris red david rudder and carrie stratton and we had one from uh tusky valley which is diane richardson but the recipient the winner of our um of the 2022 Arts Educator of the Year Award was Julie Candle with New Philadelphia City Schools. 
Very good. Uh, mm-hmm. Like you said, qualified group there. Yes, very. It was so, and I know like talking to the people that were looking through the nominations that it was a, it was a tough decision because it was very evident that these educators have really poured a lot of themselves into the students and into their school districts. And um, yeah, so we really, we really need to value our educators mm-hmm. for that reason. Hard part, choosing one. Easy part, probably whoever you chose was going to be very qualified. So. Yes. <laughs> you kind of forget about that, yeah. maybe. But So that being wrapped up, now you've got half a week to focus it back in on <laughs> Art in the Alley, which you've been focused on for quite a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely ongoing <laughs> to be focused on Art on the Alley. Yes. And it's our biggest one to date, too. Yeah. yeah so. Um, Are we all full, finally? I mean, yeah, we're, we're full. Um, I would say in total between... Um, like if you were to total like our artist vendors, uh, nonprofit vendors, and even some of our food vendors, we have close to 90 vendors this year or something, um, which is definitely one of our largest, uh, this Sunday being our, like a bigger deal, like for art on the alley because it's our fifth anniversary. So to say that we've made it five years in the community is really big. Well, comparing not the quality but the quantity from year one to five you have to go oh wow yeah i think we started with 30 vendors yeah which is good yeah which is a good turnout for and we were within one footprint of um like around where ezekiel project the cove Mm -hmm. is um and yeah uh if anyone has attended there or knows that area it's like that crossroads between like ashwood lane and first drive northwest Mm -hmm. in that area and we filled that area and it was really great and we had one stage and now we are looking at we've looked at, we've expanded our footprint so we're as far south as like where fresh the market is but as far north now as where the Tuscarawas County Public Library's front lawn is so we have a dedicated family zone up there now which is new yeah. uh, and we moved steam centers up there so steam and uh, the library are combining efforts for programming up there as well as like some other fun activities for families with fans network doing like a coloring page contest and greg scott who's a caricature artist and we also have uh enchanted enchanted memories and events um they're going to be in attendance and they dress up as notable princesses that may be familiar for some people so uh (laughs) they'll be out walking around as well um and then also buckeye career center's graphic arts program will be doing face painting in that zone as well so you mentioned family twice obviously that's who's geared toward but anybody can yeah from three to 93 yeah definitely there's something there for everyone there's all sorts of different activities too like i know with uh artigan alley there will be a scavenger hunt that anyone can participate in so you can go pick up the scavenger hunt cards from like art and soul gallery alley cats marketplace and even from jessica haney's my museum booth as a vendor um and it's also the week before mother's day too so hint hint Um. to anyone that's (laughs) listening if you want to get a unique gift for that special mother grandmother or even woman that's been like such a prominent mother like figure in your mm-hmm. life that's a great time to go out and shop something unique i know one of the potters will be on with me on friday d grossman <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes. she would be pushing for that oh yes <laughs> oh yeah she's always there doing demonstrations which is really cool because we have artists there that will do live demonstrations of uh the work that they do so d grossman yeah. is always there uh doing her um her pottery uh, there. And of course you have, uh, I mean, a caricature artist will demonstrate live right there with how they creatively think about uh, the, like the face and stuff Mm -hmm. and to make it fun. Um, Yeah. And then there's going to be two stage performances. So we have our North stage, uh, which will feature Hunter Skeens and the, and his forerunners and Kodachrome babies. So that's going to be at the North stage. And then on the South stage, we're going to have local performances from uh, area high school students. So that will be at our South stage area. Oh my goodness. And what else is there? There's so much. Oh, I know Mad Bros and uh, our city productions will be doing a uh, photo booth inside of Mad Bros and back there uh, for donation and entrance but there's gonna be cosplay characters and you get to uh take photos with um like some star wars figures and marvel characters so there's going to be a really awesome opportunity for um people to come in and engage with like that sort of like um those fandoms so it's uh, a hang out with hang out with some superstars yeah some superstars superheroes (laughs) then of course there's a bunch of different activities happening in alley cats marketplace and fresh the market um that people can stop in and uh i mean they have a lot of different artisan items as well as well as other um 
performances and uh, demonstrations as well. So there's really a lot for everyone. Will, will you get a chance to enjoy any of this or, you, or will you be so busy? That... <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I hope I'll, so. Well, it's funny because I, well, my husband always attends um, these events and he makes sure that I eat. So, cause <laughs> well, I'm always, good. I'm always out and about and just like trying to make sure everything is okay and yeah. making sure our vendors are okay and other people are doing all right. Um, so he's always there and back. It's like, you got to eat something. <laughs> and I'm just, <laughs> like okay i'll take five minutes <laughs> glad he's taking care of you so that's good yeah. if anybody has a question about this event or maybe in the future i know there's another one in october and mm -hmm. availability how do they reach you yeah so anything art on the alley related um you can and there's like two ways that you can really get a hold of me we do have a dedicated uh email for art on the alley it's info dot a o t a tusk at gmail.com okay. um or they can reach out to me at tusk cross arts partnership at gmail.com but we do have uh yeah, so uh, Art on the Alley is overseen by Tuscarawas Arts Partnership. So all that has to do with me. So mm -hmm. one way or another, you'll get a hold of me and I can answer your questions about Art on the Alley. Well, you've answered most of them today. So I hope everybody's listening to that and it'll be on our Facebook page as a link later on. Okay? Mm -hmm, certainly. Well, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. All right, we'll talk to you again pretty soon. All right. That is Wilma Mullet of Tuscarawas Arts Partnership with all that's going on here this morning, the 830 High Beam on our B-Team Morning Show. Heard it.